Hello! My name is Bax, and welcome to our playthrough of Assemble with Care. There's the people who made Monument Valley, which was a very popular uh, puzzle game on mobile. I believe it was actually mobile-specific. I don't know if it released... I, I actually did play the game briefly. Um, and it seemed pretty good. So, if this is the follow-up to that, I think we're in for a treat. Um, let's get, let's get started. This is the opening. I don't, I, I haven't clicked anything yet. This is, this is right where it takes you. I assume we do this. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so. That's pretty loud. Hold on. Oh wow, they really they really want you to So we click through. It's best played it's best played with sound. Okay, we're gonna turn it down even more. Yo, what's up, Ryan? Let's go. Begin mission. Begin quest. After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. That's good. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course, <laughs> the forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. Yeah. I'm a restorer by trade. Oh. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. Which do need fixing. Bella Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. Okay. So, oh. There's a, you click a coffee cup to pause? That's pretty rad. Um, okay. Audio, I think the audio is pretty good. I am going to, I think, I think I have it already mixed over here. We should be all right. I think. Okay, so. Click on the clasps. Oh, snap. Okay. Huh, snap. Get that. Let's break some antiques. That's, I think that's what's going to end up happening. What's up, Scout? How you doing, my friend? The tools of my trade. No hope of restoring things without these. Okay. I picked up these sunglasses on my last stop. Hopefully I'm cool enough to pull them off. Yeah, hopefully. I saw a guitarist wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman at your service. Okay. My passport. So Not many blank pages left now. So we travel a lot. So far, the puzzle is, uh... Who doesn't love a scrunchie? Practical just and stylish. Just taking things apart. Anything about your clothes? No? Nothing? Okay. Looking forward to taking more close-ups of my fingers with this. Good. Whoops. Oh, I'll hand these okay. out once I'm settled in. Fingers crossed they get me some work. Okay, good. Jump. Easy clap. First try. Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. Good. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it. So I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. 
My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was mm. a world out there Stop. beyond the four walls of our beyond. Store that I had to be a part of. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. My story in Bellariva began with a little girl and a voice she was longing to hear. Oh, are we fixing stuff now? We unlocked an achievement. Oh. Oh my. Yo, this is pretty this is pretty slick. Let's make sure our graphics are cranked. Let's make sure these are like absolute Oh, there we go. Now we can actually Okay, so now we can actually have a full screen for the game. Now we can we can actually full screen this thing. Here we go. Let's there. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mucho bueno. All right. Um, we have, I think, everything else. Let's reset our progress. All right. Into the very unknown. What's up? What's up, Mr. Mr. Al? It starts whenever you start the music. My it friend. It was my first morning in Bella Riva, and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. Sweet. It was a quiet town, its streets and alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. In the main square, meanwhile, preparations were underway for the festival in a few days' time. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, everything here seemed perfect. I, I think it would be great if the game evolved to the point where you like actually like low key are like a demigod and you have to like fix a universe. And so we're like picking it apart and putting it together. That'd be dope. Will that happen? Probably I was not. Starting to worry Spoilers, made probably a not. When I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? Well, if this ain't some kind of manifest destiny. Is this a full game? Another demo? A full girl. game. Maybe full. Seven years old. Full she game. Must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. Oh, we're fixing cassettes. My is broken and I can't make it work anymore. I've fallen and I can't get up. I tried to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? Yes. <gasps> Let's go. Come on. What you got? Okay, we have. We have thing. Thing. Pencil. Tape. Batteries. Okay. Can I? How do I flip it? Or there we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, yeah, yeah, get wrecked. Oh, we actually do the spinning. Okay. You can see it went up here. I would like to remove this. Ah, those batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. What do you know? Spare batteries. Okay. Battery in, battery in. Oh, nope, don't do that. Solid. Oh, ah, wait, okay. Here we go. Okay, so this is done okay now what's okay so now we got now we got this finagle here right you guys remember this trick right why did you do that do you want this fixed or not
So wait, the girl said there was a metal thing in the way. Was she referring to the screw? Eject. Cassette in. Done. Will you dream a dream for me? If I sit by your side and hold you so mm, tight. Yeah. No Yo, what's up, agent? Can she, I hope there's an emotional fixing that happens. My parents when it finished. Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack. My parents had a cassette collection that was like low key ridiculous. Just for like one a room like in a, in one of our like office rooms one wall like a whole wall of a room just covered in cassettes christian rock every christian rock band artist any just cassettes so many cassettes holy uh very much more difficult than opening a door with a crowbar <laughs> to make a radio show, do you want to do it? <laughs> Ten years behind. Thanks, Maria, you're the best person at fixing no. things ever. No problem. Who was that singing? They're very good. We're not ten years behind. We're we're actually ten years. We're ten years behind because it's cool. It's cool to be behind. It's my mom. She she's not here anymore. Oh, uh oh. Busy trailed off. It was the kind of silence uh -oh. that cassette tape would never be enough to fill. Uh-oh. Team, we're, they're hitting the feels with us. Real early. Real early with the feels. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of a stick of gum, three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. Take the yo-yo for sure. For sure. Eight track tapes. Holy smokes. Those I would be worth something at this point, check, I would think. But Izzy looked so serious. I wrote out a full receipt. A full receipt. She seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, part of her life had been shattered. Oh. Wow. The part I wouldn't be able to fix. Sorry, Al. You're out. Emotional fixing. Emotional fixing not allowed. <laughs> At least not yet. I don't know. <laughs> but the game clearly heard you and said, uh, that ain't that ain't us. Onward! Oh. Those have, that's first a good point. Repair complete. I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around the square. That's a good point. They haven't they haven't come back in the way that vinyl has because I don't own eight track tapes, but I do own vinyl. I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel and found a message asking me to make one more visit. When we were moving to Seattle, that was one of the requirements. They said, "How much do you have any vinyl records?" And we were like, "We have a few." And they're like, "Okay, you can come in." The address led me to a quaint little house. A stone's throw from the beach. Bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful, in spite of its flaking paintwork and chipped tiles. The front door was opened by a harried-looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. Okay. I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Please, come in. I'd like to settle up properly. On the what? mantelpiece, I saw the remains of a broken statue. Without thinking, I picked up a fragment. Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it, at least. Yet another way I'd have disappointed him. It survived a hundred years in this family. But five minutes with Isabel and... Do you think you can salvage it? Oh, we can salvage it. <sighs> um that too that too you uh, your collection automatically grows out when you when you do get your place Yarboa, what's up yo we saw you playing the uh, the the rockstar that was pretty fun 
uh, raiding with uh, with Agent Seto. That was cool. Hope you're doing well. How are you holding up? How's the island? Let's restore. Okay. Um, so there's pieces, and we have glue. Okay. This is a piece that exists. Will you be able to see the glue afterwards? I don't want people seeing the cracks. Oh, so so you like? Oh! The hell kind of a, it didn't I didn't even click it automatically did it that's I didn't I want the record to show This is too much glue. <laughs> I'm not clicking. It just does it. It just does it, okay? Okay, so there's glue on there. Okay, good. So it's not, okay. So we're okay. We can do this. <laughs> okay. That, okay. We need more. We need glue. Glue. So much glue. Sometimes I think my daughter should come with a warning label. <laughs> it was the Christian 70s style singers. Ooh, okay. Who are we talking about? 70s style or from the 70s? For me, it was a lot of like the Stephen Curtis Chapman, Michael W. Smith, Rebecca St. James, you know? Iranian radio. Corded what? Yo, that's like, that's intense. That's some heavy, heavy posterity shit there. That's really cool, actually. Glue, 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 the glue. Look at us go. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? Ray Bolts? You got a Ray Bolts on me right now, Tim? Let's go. Ooh. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get, I'll go. Yeah, we can get, we it looks as perfect as it ever did. We can get in my on some Ray Bolts. Me to make something Ooh. of myself. He didn't have time for anything less. As Joseph put the statue back on the shelf, it nudged against the family portrait stood proudly next to it. So he was Bellariva's mayor. And that was Izzy's mom. They must both miss her so much. True. I'm sorry. I'm a little tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's only a few days to go. Looks like I'll be working late. Again? Again? When I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy. To avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of pretending it wasn't happening. Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time. But maybe that was what he wanted. I just hoped he was finding enough time Whoa. for Izzy, too. They're metagaming the story here. Yo, they're layering, right? Oh my gosh, an example of me in the people whose stuff I'm fixing. 
Uh, Missy? Is that a Missy? Looks like a Missy. What's up? Uh, Christian Harry. <laughs> yeah, um. Wait, you, your essential job? Are you guys just doing delivery? Are you a beer runner? Do you run the beer? That would be excellent. Okay, three. Check that, oh, telephone repair. Telephone repair. And yes, I actually have used one of these telephones. We had one of these telephones in my empty. house when I was a kid. Another beautiful sunny morning. It didn't last long, but it was there. It was there. Bootlegger, he's just in. He's in the bathroom. He's in that bathtub. He's shining. Walking into town, I passed cafes overflowing with customers cradling their morning coffees. Cradling morning coffee. Breathing in the smell hmm. of roasted coffee beans and freshly baked pastries. I was about to go inside when the owner of Carmen's, the cafe next door, stopped me. Uh, hello, Maria. Were you here yesterday handing out flyers? I have a job for you. Her place was petite, tucked between its competitors as if hoping they wouldn't notice. Judging by the empty tables inside, though, her potential customers hadn't noticed it either. Oh! Wrecked. Wrecked F. An F for the poor lady's cafe. Hot damn, get roasted. It's a bit slow today, but we're just getting started. <laughs> I'm sure it'll pick up soon. As Carmen chatted, she walked over to the counter and returned with an old rotary phone. At least I've got plenty of time to practice my recipe for the festival. It's a new special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister for some, uh, seasoning tips, but it won't connect. Can you see if you can figure out what's wrong? Of course! I'd love to! It'd be my pleasure! If we're gonna watch crafting, we might as well be playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Ooh, yo, we have a cer we have we have a thing. Okay. I really wanted to ring the bell. I clicked it to see if I could ring the bell. This character can go to a coffee shop. Our coffee yes, it's true. I assume we're gonna Okay, let's let's do this thing that we do. Obviously, we'd normally be much busier than this. Okay, you don't have to, you know, just Jeez, she's like, oh my gosh, please don't be judging me. My Instagram account has a lot of really good photographs of how busy we normally are. Ooh, that's a broken bell. You can fix it, can't you? I can't afford to replace it. Okay, just... Aye, aye. Okay. Oh. Man, screwdriver. This is a screwdriver simulator. Um, and, okay. Excellent. Good. Whoosh. Okay. And then I assume, yeah, we're going to have to remove this. Click the wire and drag it to the toolbox to detach it. How do I grab? How do I? Okay. Wait, we don't, we can't do that yet. Hold on, hold on. You suck. And then we need, we need the circuit. Oh, okay. Ring to ring. Phone to phone. Looks like this new circuit board is all hooked up. We are, we're such, we are fixers. Holy smokes, we're awesome. Whoosh. 
clean. Everything back together. Clean repairs. Repairs by backs. That looks pretty done to me. Do you guys even rotary? Do you guys even rotary? Can you jump in this game? Yo, this phone, look at this. We can even, we can sit here and just enjoy. Yo, interpretive dance. Whoa, the, the chord is actually kind of mesmerizing, isn't it? Oh my gosh. It's like hypnotizing. Ah, la la, la la la, Varial flip. When I handed the phone back to Carmen, she seemed almost reluctant to take it from me. When you don't drop a single screw, yes. The screw, the bowl to catch the screws. Come on, that's no, that's... So it's all working Far too professional. I don't have to leave it to dry or let it cool down? Nope, it's ready to go. It'll be ringing off the hook Leave it, time. leave it to dry or let it cool down. We all know about, we all know about that. You know, you got to let your rotary phone uh, dry. You got to let that, th you know, hang it up on the, uh, on That's the clothesline. Phone bill anyway, <laughs> and the rent and the suppliers. Anyway, take a seat and I'll be right with you. Your coffee's on the house. Oh, very kind. I sat at one of the empty tables. Cheers. While at the counter, Carmen had started dialing the phone. Hello. How's my favorite sister doing today? Where's our coffee? She called her sister before she got our coffee. As she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. This didn't seem like a call for some cooking advice. Uh. I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part in the festival if I don't pay. I could almost feel the eye roll at the other end of the line. You don't need to be here, though. Can't you just put the check in the post? Money issues. When the call ended, Carmen brought me my coffee. Her hands trembling. Sorry about that. Uh, my sister's decided to fly in for a visit. <sighs> oh, God. I have to get ready. Actually... I might have another job for you. Can you come by tomorrow? Don't mind if I do. Free coffee? Yo, will you do I get more do I get more of the coffee? Oh! Camera time. Yo, are, are we speedrunners? The next day, I promised Carmen I'd return to help Calls her before coffee. for her sister's arrival. Every time a customer comes in, they sit down, uh, you know, I'll have, a, I'll have a cappuccino, I'll have an espresso. Excellent. And she goes over and calls one of her family members. <laughs> They're like sitting there. <laughs> Excuse me. I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call from my hotel's reception. Everybody's bed. getting calls. Apparently, another guest had asked for me by name. Whoa. Yo, is this... Are there repair people that actually get this kind of business? Like they they go somewhere, they travel the world, they go somewhere, drop a whole bunch of flyers out, and they're getting like, they're they're so busy, they're just like fixing Curious. shit constantly. I took the elevator up to the top floor. That'd be great Maybe if that was true. Maybe it is. I knocked. Are you here about the camera? It's about time. It's about time. The woman in front of me was immaculate. Not a hair out of place or a crease to be seen. My sister tells me you know how to fix things. I'd usually go to an expert, of course, but in this town... So this was Carmen's sister? The two of them couldn't have been more different. Inside her room, I saw a beautiful reflex camera. Any professional photographer's dream. The viewfinder is completely dark. I can't see anything through it at all. I assume you can figure out what's wrong. Uh, good voice acting. Can we mention? It's pretty good voice acting. Okay, here we go. So, 
Um, we have our we have a we have our mirror layout. You need the manual. Oh, oh no, you didn't. Uh uh. Mm mm. Okay. Oh. Well, that doesn't help, bro. Can I just take off? I'm just going to remove all the screws. Let's just one step, all screws. Okay, take the whole I thing don't apart. Suppose you fixed anything this valuable before. Wow. I'm going to slap her. It's a big slap. Incoming. If I use the screwdriver, I could adjust the angle of the mirror. Perfect. Now the viewfinder should be working. Ooh, I can just keep taking stuff apart. This is great. This is cool. I probably don't need to take anything else apart, though. I think we're... Wait, was I supposed to put film in there? There's still a part I need to attach. Where does it go? Uh-oh. Team, I was supposed to put film in there. She wants me to put the film in for her? Come on, I have to I have to pull There's the still a part I need to attach. Where does it go? No, you have to pull the film across. Oh my god. I'm just gonna remove all the screws. Oh uh, That may or may not have happened recently too. I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. I put my disposable to shame. I picked it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 1958 limited edition, the first of its kind. It cost me three months' salary, but it was worth I had no idea what three months' salary meant to Helena, but I was pretty sure it was more than I could afford. It was strange, really, that we were even staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and cheerful, but surely she could afford somewhere better? Mm. She took some test shots, fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolutely satisfied. This work is immaculate. At least there's one person in this town who knows what they're doing. Twenty dollar. Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. I wondered why Helena had wow. been coming if she thought so little of her sister. I hear nothing from her for weeks, and then when she finally does call me, all she wants is money. If she thinks I'm lending her another penny, she'll have to convince me it's not a total waste of time. That didn't sound good. If Hurricane Helena was about to hit, I hoped Carmen was ready. Ooh, neon. Let's get let's get a neon repair. We're the nuts. Sun was setting over Bellariva by the time I reached Carmen's cafe. From the outside, it looked as quiet as ever, but inside, I found Carmen cleaning like her life depended on it. Maria, oh, don't mind all of this. If Helena finds one speck of dust in here, I'll never hear the end of it. Carmen seemed pleased to see me, but I sensed the fidgeting tension beneath each sweep of her mop. 
trying to live up to the standards of someone like Helena seemed like an impossible task. True. I hope you didn't mind fixing the camera for her. She was furious when it broke. I really need this to go well. If she doesn't lend me the money, I don't know how long I can keep this place going. Carmen led me to a back room where she'd laid out the components of what looked like a neon sign. I had this made when I first opened the cafe, but I'm hopeless with electronics. So in before, we solve all the problems and keep this uh, and keep this cafe open, right? We're about so there to solve was it all. Supposed to be a sign outside. This might explain the lack of customers. No phone, no sign. I'd like to put it up before Helena gets here. Can you give it a try? Can you pay me? Or are you just going to give me more coffee? Stupid, stupid. Okay. We have glue. I mean, this can go there, right? That's cool. Let's hold on. What? Okay. So I actually don't know what I'm doing here. So this is exciting. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, there was a place for the screwdriver. Way, way out. Oh, come on. We can. There we go. Okay. So. So glue here for this for the the on the on panel, right? We have three attachments. Can I like double glue? A little dab of glue will do. Am I right or am I right? Just a dab, team. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mmm. Here we go. Perfect! So it looks like the light the the light thing is already set up. So this just re requires that. So that's good. Okay, before we put the screws back on. Something's supposed to go right there. I don't think so, right? Are you kidding me? Come on. Oh, wow. Come on! I gotta spin the thing to see the thing? That's... flashes it will really catch people's eye great idea i think i have a spare part that could do that oh i get to glue this one too oh my i went through all that and now she wants me to add more stuff to it we are ve we are very kind. 
<laughs> watching that supply glue. Hey! Oh, no, 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 no. Stay, you stay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Man, we are, we have, we, the control. Perfect. Right? Still needs something else. Oh my god. Maybe we can add one of these. Are you giving me the choice? Can you glue your finger? That would make that would really put the final touch on this. We need to drop a screw and we need to we need to glue our fingers together. Ice cream? Martini or pizza? Votes in the chat while I apply glue gingerly. Ginger glue application. Ice cream, martini, pizza. Oh, oh, it's bugging out. It's like, wait, we don't know what to do with this much glue. This is too much. So now I'm going to assume the idea. Boom. Okay. Ice cream and hot, wait, we have two pizzas and two votes from the same person for ice cream and one for hot dogs. I think it's pizza. A coffee shop. It works. I'll screw everything together again and you'll be set. A coffee shop slash pizza parlor. That's your combo. That's your that's your business model. You know? I think the ice cream for an, an affogato would have been excellent. We did it! Neon sign completed. Where is Okay. Cool. We're nuts. The sign fixed. Magic. Outside and mounted. She's and not gonna get her alone. Low. Wait, it shows the ice cream cone in the what? It shows the ice cream cone. Why would you give me the option if you if if you're gonna have the ice cream cone? We chose pizza. Rigged. Oh, Rigged. Maria, it looks just how I imagined it. When I had this sign made, it all seemed so simple. Oh, I can't believe I might have to give it all up. I hope I've done enough. The smile froze on her face as she spotted something. It's Helena. I turned to see. <laughs> Martinis ice cream pizza. It certainly does uh, 
does course, sound my sister owns the only cafe in this entire town that like a turtle ran shop. Better or worse, Helena had arrived. Carmen opened her mouth to explain, but Helena oh. swept indifferently past her. Finally pausing in the doorway, she turned back towards Carmen. The first thing we're doing is getting rid of that hideous sign. Oh! Was it the pizza? And with that, she disappeared inside. I hoped Carmen's chances of saving the cafe hadn't disappeared with her. It wasn't the pizza. It shows ice cream. It wasn't the pizza. We should have done the martini. Shoot. Should have done the martini. God. Playing up. So, okay. This is interesting. I wonder, okay. It was the day before the festival and the whole town was busy getting ready. I had more work than I knew what to do with. When Joseph called with another job, I was craving the cool quiet of his and Izzy's seafront house. I barely reached their front door when I heard someone calling me. Psst. Maria, I need your help. Quickly, it's top secret. I don't think anything good's gonna come it from this. Izzy peeking out from the side of the house. She beckoned for me to follow her. She led me through to a beautiful, unruly garden overflowing with flowers of every color. Nestled among them was a playhouse, its doorway almost completely obscured by a towering rose bush. You have to squeeze past it and breathe in real small, like this. Izzy took in a big gulp of air and crawled through the gap and into the playhouse. I hadn't planned on kind of jealous. I want to play today, like that. But the life of a repair woman never did run smooth. No, it did not. On the table inside, there was an electronic toy. Not exactly the usual stock in my parents' antique shop. I uh, had an accident. I didn't do it on purpose or anything, but uh, it won't turn on anymore. Can you fix it for me? Ooh. All right. Yeah. Okay. Whew. What do we got? Let's take it. Let's assess. A button smashed. Screen broken. And that's what we got. Uh, no screws. Taking everything apart. Uh, taking everything apart. Ah! Uh oh. Okay. We have to. Okay. No. Oh, yeah. You there. You there. You there. You there. You there. Should I be, wait, should I be paying attention? Uh-oh. Have I goofed? There's no glue either. No screws, no glue. I don't know. Seems kind of lame. How many? We can put quite a few uh, finagles in this bagel, can't we? Okay. Well, now that this is completely deconstructed. Let's get that A button there. That looks great. That here. Excellent. Very good. Um, we do need the... Okay. Yeah, that's good. This goes there. That's the new one.
That goes there, because that's the new one. I think we're good. I don't remember where all these were. Uh-oh. So, okay. So we go light to one, and then that means we go one to light, right? Like, that's how this works? I think that's what they're going for here. And then we go uh, screen to two. Two to screen. And then we'll go three to music. Three to music. You back the oh uh battery. Woo, look how shiny and fresh that is. Alright. No! Stay on. Okay. What game are we playing? Forest Adventure Pop and Play. Do grown ups play games as well? No, no, we do not. <laughs> no, <laughs> we do not play video games. Woo! Can you show me how to play? I tried before, but it was so hard. No way. Do we actually get to play the game? High score incoming! It's Pokemon. Yo! We, oh, that. Is he? If you're struggling with that game, did she rage quit? Did she rage quit the game because she couldn't take a picture of the, the, the Spiro? Of the Pidgey? She tried to take a photograph of the Pidgey. It's Pokemon Snap Game Boy version. And she couldn't take a photograph of the Pidgey, so she broke her Game Boy. Is that what I'm understanding? Her toy fixed. I watched Izzy retreat into its screen, taking refuge in a three-inch world of her own. Well, I'd better head inside. Your dad is waiting for me. Please don't tell him about the game. He'll think I broke it on purpose. Why would he think that? Because, uh, well, I kind we of- We called it! Really hard at the wall. <laughs> she dropped it! Really hard! At the wall! Why you say we? True. It's the royal we. The royal we. On the worn floor of the playhouse. My dad said I have to go to this stupid festival tomorrow and put on a stupid dress. And I don't want to. All he cares about is working. He never wants to see me unless it's for his job. I'm not going. He can't make me. With that, Izzy dove back through the rose bush and disappeared into the wilds of the garden. She was so young. She couldn't be expected to see that her dad was struggling, too. So, are we going to fix everything? It made me think. Had I really tried hard enough to understand my parents' point of view? Oh, we're fixing our own past? The way nostalgia affects us? We're going to fix this family? We're going to fix the sister's relationship? Just by fixing cameras and Game Boys. I was brilliant. so focused on the adventures ahead of me. Maybe I didn't care enough about leaving them behind. Whoa. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm, mm. So it looks like there's 13 levels. You guys can't see behind my... Um, 13 levels. 
So we can probably just, uh... Probably finagle a bagel. Are we gonna fix a watch? This could get crazy. Leaving it is Celeste and garden. Celeste. I walked yes. around to the front of the house and rang the doorbell. It was only then I noticed my favorite overalls covered in grass stains. I scrubbed desperately, but it was too late. Oh. Maria, what are you doing? What happened to your clothes? Uh-oh. I was, uh, repairing a lawn mower. How unusual. Well, do come in. Unusual? They need the repair. The I've got for you is a little more delicate. Totally embarrassed, I walked into an orderly room filled with papers and ledgers. So this was his office. You must be so busy getting ready for the festival. Are you looking forward to it? Of course. It's traditional for the mayor to judge food from every cafe and restaurant in town. I'll be declaring the best chef in Bella Riva by this time tomorrow. Speaking of which... He unclipped the watch from his wrist and very carefully handed it to me. Do you guys see a connection here? Carmen's Cafe winner, best restaurant, everything works together. I'll have a tight schedule to follow, but my watch stopped working a while ago. Could you see if you can make it tick again? Sure, watch repair. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Love always. No? Got it. Yeah, I'm trying to move it. There we go. Those are... V this is... This is giving me, like, low-key anxiety. Because these are very small screws. <laughs> I'm glad you know it's the game controlling it because this could go very poorly. Okay. Watch is not working. Mm. Oh! The main plate has completely cracked. I'll need to replace it. The cogs look good, though. If I'm careful, I can reuse those. Oh, never mind. Okay, here we go. Cogs. Boop. Oh, or not? Nope. Wait, that one goes... Nope, hold on. Okay, and then you go back over there. You here. You there. You there. Okay. Now that... That's not a cog, right? I don't think so. It's not. Can't confirm. Okay. Here we go. Should I have paid attention to what this looked like? That's not doing anything. I was just going to comment that there's no music. Watch, watch repair is easy. It's so easy. What a piece of frigging cake.
Are you sure it will all fit back together? Nope! I've not gone a day without this watch since my wife gave it to me. Any questions? Man, that's a clean watch. As I handed the watch back to Joseph, my fingers traced over the engraving on the back. I hoped fixing this was one small way I could help him move forward. Sure. I can't believe it's working, Maria. Thank you. You're welcome. My wife was a brilliant woman. Feeling this ticking on my wrist, it makes me feel like she's still here. Watches measure minutes and hours like they're infinite. I didn't know we had so little time. <laughs> Even with Isabel, I barely see her. And when I do, she acts like she hates me. Just then, the phone rang. Even when he was at home, his work was never done. Uh, sorry, Maria. I have to take this. I'll see you at the festival tomorrow. See you at the festival. Sounds great. As I left, I turned and saw him pacing the floor of his office, his watch glinting in the afternoon sun. <laughs> Poke some holes in the box so the wave can I breathe. A quiet ticking would at least bring him some peace during the busy day. <laughs> that's, that's, that's some heavy truth. Some heavy truth. Five left, team. Five left. What is that? Projector? Oh boy. Projector time. When my last job of the day brought me to Carmen's apartment, Remember we un the when we unpacked our suitcase? Remember that? Elena. Sorry for inflicting this mess on you. Carmen's never seen a knickknack she doesn't want to buy, apparently. Carmen's apartment was a little chaotic, but totally charming. It was easy to imagine her living in a place like this. It definitely wasn't Helena's style. She seemed more upmarket than flea market. I wondered why she- We're having a clear out. Or at least I am. Carmen's not helping. As oh. usual. Okay. There's a market at the festival tomorrow. I'm selling some of these things to make her some money. Okay. She says she has nothing when there's all this stuff right under her nose. Helena stepped delicately past the items on the floor and reached down to pick up one from the pile. Look at this slide projector. Our parents treasured it, but Carmen treats it like a piece of junk. Can you take a look? Of course! Yeah, I'd love to! Okay. So we have a panel. Inspection, differential, differential diagnosis, go. Lupus, take a lumbar puncture. What show am I? All right, so let's. Let's just take, let's take things apart. Things fall apart oh, as typical. writers, as I'm great writers have said. get a slide stuck in here. Warning, beware electricity. Wait, can we? <laughs> I heard lupus. Are we talking about house? It's never lupus, ever. And they always say it's going to be lupus. Sarah and I have been establishing a drinking game for house. And it's so much fun because... <laughs> The whole show is just built on tropes. It's an entertaining... The show is entertaining as hell. You know, because it's basically like a, Sher a medical Sherlock. It's great. But man, could be lupus. No, 
The CT scan didn't have enough dumba dumba. Could be uh, an infection, uh, you know, something. Like no, because uh, when the MRI showed. Da, 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 da. Do a lumbar puncture. Take a biopsy. Biopsy the brain. <gasps> House, no! Don't! You have to know what you have to know. Okay, if we can get electrocuted, I'm gonna get electrocuted. Woo! Okay, that's broken. Light bulb is completely smashed. Okay, I'll need to redirect the light to the lens at the top for the projector to work. So we're just making the light. Let's see, before I go too far here, I probably want to attach. Where did the other attachment go? Was there a place on here for, yeah, there it is, yeah. So let's take this. Wait, am I missing where the other one is? I don't think so. Okay, so this just goes on top here. Maybe I am. I was so excited when I moved to the city. Carmen, she looks so sad. She, she ate. Oh. Oh. What? Here's the clicker you'll need to attach. <laughs> God knows how Carmen broke that as well. All memories. Oh. Okay. Set that aside there. I mean, how am I supposed to attach the thing? Oh, I see. There we go. There's still a part I need to attach. Where does it go? You mean that? Whoosh. And then we're just going to do the screws. Boop. Um, there we go. Putting it together. There we go. And then let's go. Let's line it up. Boop. Boop. And that looks pretty good to me. Oh. Oh, we did it. There we go. Made it happen. The slowest way possible, but we did it. I thought you had to get the stuck slide out. Apparently, I'm just putting on a show. I suppose she looked up to me. A cool older sister. We're fixing it, team. She used to ask me when I was coming home. But I was always too busy. Oh, we're bringing it back. She must be 80. <laughs> Helena was transfixed. Staring at the two young sisters, the projector had brought glaringly into focus. I... I never meant to let her down. Oh, shit. But you shit. haven't, have you? You came all this way just to help with the cafe. Plus the money. Plus the money you have, that you have, that you could give. 
to the thing. What's the problem? There is no money. <gasps> I lost my job a few months ago. My savings are almost gone. I have nothing. Plot twist. Common things. I'll throw my checkbook at her bad decisions and make them okay. Time to but time I to. Can't. This time. We're gonna make it happen. Oh, they're gonna come together and cook something amazing and win. I came here wanting to tell her the truth, but she's so infuriating. <laughs> How can I ask her for help when all she cares about is herself? Oh, if only you knew. Ghost of Elena Technology's past. True. Shrinking under the gaze of her younger self, projected onto the wall. We drifted so far apart when I moved away. It felt like the only thing keeping us together was my bank balance. I know more money, more problems. Truth isn't fair, but I already lost everything else. What if I lose her too? Yeah. Wait. How did she even travel in the first place? We're in quarantine. What the hell? Yo, you want to talk? Uh, technology's past indeed. I mean, we are an antique repair woman. A strong independent woman. The day of the festival finally came, and after all my hard work, I was ready to put down my tools and pick up a fork. Sounds great. The smell as I entered the main square was incredible. Each stall was selling food even more delicious than the last. The competition would start any minute. Most stall holders were waiting anxiously for the mayor to pay them a visit. All of them, that was, except Carmen, who was still frantically chopping vegetables and stirring pots. Maria! Thank God you're here! Can I ask you the world's biggest favor? The world's biggest favor! Everybody ready for it? Here it is. Helena was supposed to help me run the store today, but she never turned up. Probably too ashamed to show her face. I can't believe she lied to me! Helena! No! Carmen was stirring so furiously, she was in danger of tipping the pot over altogether. The mayor will be here any minute for the judging, but I'm almost out of my special. She wasn't really going to ask me, was she? Not on my day off. stove ready to build and everything can you set it up and make me a spare back she asked she did it she made it where's the no wait where's the where's the i'm not i won't assemble where's the branching narrative where we can we can get to an ending that suits us which is no it's my day off i'm gonna go eat okay good luck i fixed all your other shit I'm out. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Um, we can't do anything with the leaf. I wanted, I thought the leaves, the leaves might have been able to finagle. <sighs> okay. Broth. We don't... Okay, so we don't have... We don't have mushrooms. Plenty of liquor? Half a carrot to blow... I don't see any of that here. So let's just build the thing. We're just going to build the thing, right? There's how we build the thing. Let's just build the thing. So first, boom. Got it. Second, boom. Nope. Kidding. Failed. Voila! Okay, and then this goes on there. Okay. That's there. 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 
Come on, what? It all fits. Okay. Now to light the gas. Boom. Okay. Nope. Stay there. Oh, you you want me to I, I need to actually take a match. Ah! Wait! <laughs> I lit the match and I put it back in the box! Woo! Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Oh, it just automatically does it. Okay, well, one match down. Boom. Okay. So far, so good. That, it's broth. I think that pot is really boiling now. It smells great if I say so myself. Bubble, bubble. Okay. Here are the ingredients that Carmen's given me. What to add first? Uh. Half stick of Was that a half stick? A quarter stick. That was a quarter. That was a quarter. Half a carrot. That looks like half a carrot. Two broccolis. What happens if we screw this up? Handful of chopped tomatoes. Handful? What's a handful? I can fit all these in my hand. Good. Oh. I'll scoop a spoonful when I'm ready to serve. Yo, see you, Yarb. Thanks for stopping by. Great to see you. Three wild mushrooms. One. Two. Three. Plenty of... It must be onions. We don't have anything else. Okay, it changed color, so I think we're good, right? The Four Seasons Soup. Okay. My part done, Carmen took over and added the finishing touches. It was just in time, and a moment later, Joseph arrived with Izzy in tow. Wait, so Carmen we cooked? Handed them both a serving. We deserve the credit. They had the recipe, we cooked the thing. That was so tasty. Can I have some more, please? Please, sir. Can I have some more? Well. You've certainly earned yourself a loyal customer in my daughter. We have a few more meals to taste, but so far you are one of the best. Good luck. What do you know? Joseph and Izzy looked so happy together. Maybe the festival was doing them some good after all. Maybe? Carmen, on the other hand, seemed annoyed. But why, when it had all gone so well? I wish Helena was here to see this. She's so convinced I'll never succeed at anything. She wants what's best for you. She's just not very tactful about it. Yes, I, I, know, I know, I know. Even when I was a kid, she pushed me when no one else did. I just wish she hadn't lied to me. But then I've asked so much of her over the years. I never there we go. She actually had to give. Loop it back. Getting close. Three. Three more. Oh boy. Were we talking? We were already talking about vinyl. The festival finished. I only had one day left before I had to catch my train and leave Bella Riva behind. I couldn't go without saying goodbye to Carmen. So that evening, I made my way to the cafe. It was unrecognizable. Oh She's snap. Done it. We did it. Best we called it. Food in Bella Riva. Half the town was outside waiting to see what the fuss was about. Maria! Maria! My favorite sous chef! Come on through! It was Carmen, acting every inch the successful cafe owner she deserved to be. 
Even Helena was there, serving the coffees. This was the last place I expected to see her after yesterday's drama. Carmen led me through to a balcony upstairs, where she brought out an old record player. I found out where Helena was on the day of the festival. She was finding a record player? She was selling her camera to clear the cafe's debts. But then she didn't have much left for herself. Oh. So I've asked her to come and stay with me for a while. We have a lot of catching up to do. Oh. I wanted what a, to give what her a bro a move. To cheer her up. We listened to it all the time when we were kids. Do you think it has one last tune in it? Yes. I do. Let us examine. Okay, let's see what happens when we turn this on. Oh, you are instructing me to turn it on. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. The speaker isn't connected properly. Okay, I get it. I should check the wiring. Yes, you should. Here's the problem. This wiring isn't connected properly. Okay, so then we need to do this, and then this goes here, right? There we go. Turn the volume up. I should be able to hear it now. But there's the other issue of the fast forward thing over there. But I don't see another place. So are we going to have another part? Oh, there it is. I think that should do it. This record should play beautifully. Let's do it. Hmm, it's spinning the wrong way. How can I get it to play in the right direction? What must be to do with the motor? Let's see if one of these spares can turn things around. Man! Every time. Every time we're going to make something all better. A 7B6. This is a 7WO and a 715. And it's not telling me Is there a difference between they look they look the same, don't they? Okay, let's put the green one in there, because green. This motor doesn't seem to work. No, it doesn't. Maybe I'll have better luck with a different one. Maybe! Okay, we did it. Still a Oops. Part I need to attach. Where does it go? There we go. We did it. Well, it's playing in the right direction. I should check it's turning at the correct speed. Probably 45. What will remain of these days? The sweetest word. Gotta turn it up. We had to crank up the volume a little bit. Record player achieved. The record player's crackling tune must have caught Helena's ear as she appeared a few moments later. Is that my old record player? I can't believe you've kept it all these years, Carmen. Surprise! Leaning over the music, 
They looked just like the young sisters the slide projector had preserved all these years, inseparable once again. Carmen told me about your camera. That was a really generous thing to do. I loved that camera, but I love my sister more. Now it's her time to be the person she wants to be. What a selfless thing Can to do. Selfless here? actions. Make up for lost time. Boom. Carmen and Helena's relationship wasn't suddenly going to be perfect, but they were both prepared to try. And to think, it had all started because of a call Carmen made about some seasoning tips. I guess in the end, maybe it wasn't so hard to just pick up the phone and dial. I hadn't spoken to my own parents in a year. I wanted to hear their voices more than anything. Oh, here we go. The silence between us was so cavernous. I didn't know how I'd ever find the words to bridge it. Okay. Completed. Check. Whoa. Okay. What kind of a what kind of a bagel is this? My final morning in Bella Riva, I received one last call out to Joseph and Izzy's house. I knew I had to pack, but I figured I could squeeze in one final job before I had to leave. When I arrived, I found Joseph tidying up his wilderness of a garden. The playhouse was already cleared. Inside, I could see Izzy happily testing out her screw driving skills on the back of her cassette deck. There you go. You know, make it happen. Made quite the impression. Isabel, <laughs> Izzy, tells me she's going to be a repair woman like Maria. Whoa! I'm sure she could be anything she wanted if she put her mind to it. She could. She's a brilliant child. Spending the day with her at the festival, I haven't had so much fun in ages. I wanted to give her something before she starts to forget. Inside, the house was transformed, flooded with light and the sounds of the garden. It felt alive again. This would be my last repair in Bellariva, but it felt like it was the house that had really been restored. It's a music box. It used Another to music. Let's do it. Now, when I wind it up, nothing happens. I'd love for Izzy to hear it sing again. Can you help? Of course. Let's go. Glue. Okay, so there's like a little bird thing. Okay. Oh, there, oh, there's screws in there. Okay. Now we'll unscrew these two. Take you apart. What else do we have here? What is I'm actually curious. What what do we have here? This Ooh. Is completely broken. I'll need to take it all apart before I can fix it. Oh boy. Oh! Ah! Oh! I believe it just took it all apart. Oh, wow. It really is, like, absolutely slaughtered, isn't it? All right. Well, I think, I think that's, that's taking it all apart. So that can go there. That new part can go there. That new part can go there. Small piece here. Large gear here Wasn't that supposed to go on there? Ah. There we go. Okay. That can go underneath. 
Okay, good. Wait, what's the glue for? Was I supposed to glue something? Uh-oh. I don't think I was. I didn't see any place for glue. So there must be steps to this. It's a step solve. That sounded, that sounded good. How, why isn't it, why isn't it letting me put it back together? Okay. Oh, the screen's cracked. Well, that's no bueno. Yo, what's up, Chuckle? How you doing, man? Maria, could you add this family picture of us? Of course I can. Just get our, get the get the RGB music box. Yo. Oh. Hold on. Glue time! Whoosh. Oh, it kind of just did it, didn't it? We didn't, we didn't, you know, we didn't go too overboard with the glue on that. We didn't go too overboard with the glue this time. I think that does it, right? I think we did it. I believe we have repaired the, the, the thing. Looks like something is still missing. Oh, the drawer. There. I did it. Wait. Oh, I see. You want me to put the key in the drawer, right? Okay, so here, drawer. I'm so confused. Okay. Can I close, can I not close it? Close? How do I get it into the drawer? Close it, okay. I can't close it. That opens it. Okay, but now... Ah! How do I get the key in the, in the damn drawer? 
There's still a part I need to attach. Where does it go? Am I forgetting something else? Can you glue it shut? Oh. Is it because the birds aren't the birds aren't flipping over? Oh. The birds aren't flipping over. That's not good. I can't even put the bird back right now. Uh-oh. I took the bird out, and now... And now the bird won't go back. What have I done? Uh-oh. I can't put these back. I think I've made a terrible error. Team, we're taking it back apart. <laughs> the birds aren't doing anything. I think I think the birds are supposed to do something. Oh my gosh, it doesn't work at all. Perfect. The mechanism is good as new. I didn't even have the gears connected. It's embarrassing. Spin it around. There we go. What kind of an antique repair person am I? Can't even do this stupid thing. I think that's everything back together again. I should play it to make sure. Deal. My wife used to sing this song to Izzy each night before bed. But I always it flaps its wings! Will you dream a dream for me? Or is it bringing memories, bringing so memories I together. One repair at a time, okay? One repair at a time. Missed so much already. I want to be the father my wife wanted me to be. Oh, so much like my own father. Oh my god, what Smongo. Izzy needs me more Bruh. What's up? Just the two of us. Tell me a story. Where have you been all my life? My 
daughter comes first. Well, until she gets bored of her stuffy old dad anyway. True. Very stuffy indeed. An expert at puzzles is a generous title. Joseph scooped her up and onto his shoulder. It's generous. I'd say we, we dabble. She gazed at the music box, her eyes shining. I've never seen her look so happy. Thank you, Maria, for everything. The things you fixed for me. I'm so glad to have them back. For the record, uh, for the record, Smungo, check out the game Filament. Uh, it is the closest game to a witness level like layered puzzle game like the witness like it gets the closest of any puzzle game that i've that i've played the demo be sure to check and look into it we'll be playing it i think it comes out april 23rd so we played the demo the demo video is up on our youtube very Joseph good, good father. i think and you would I enjoy tell, it he was determined to be an even better one when it came down to it that was all any of us wanted a second chance to make something right. Now? My time in Bellariva was almost over, but before I left... Yep, that's it. I knew there was something of my own I needed to fix. Oh! And we're gonna bring it full circle! We're gonna fix the suitcase! My I think. time in Bellariva was almost at an end. Another chapter finished in a story whose ending I hadn't felt ready to write. The people I'd met, the items I'd restored, they'd taught me so much about what was really important. Pulling out my suitcase from beneath the bed, I remembered the day I stole it from my parents' shop. Ooh. The day I left. Ooh. Afterwards, I was too ashamed to call them to apologize. It was a guilt I'd been carrying around every day since. As I packed, I knew that it was up to me to find a way to lighten the load. Oh, look at look at us packing. Special. I'm under strict instructions to guard it with my life. My parents would love Bellariva. Maybe I can convince them to make the trip. Joseph's idea of light reading for the train. It does look thorough. Light reading, a history of watches. Elena gave me these designer shirts. Not sure I'll pull them off as well as she does. A stegosaurus. Izzy gave me this in exchange for my repair manual. She'll be a pro in no time. True. Yeah, it's it's good, Smongo. Seriously. I can't believe it's time to leave Bellarine. It is good. A soundtrack to my travels. I'll be listening to this on the journey. There it is. We did it. We packed the suitcase. My suitcase was full, but it was my heart that felt heavy as I made my way to the station. I was sorry to be leaving Bella Riva behind, but I hoped that in my own small way, I'd made a difference. Elena and Carmen's reunion was possible because they'd learned to overcome their differences. Joseph had realized he shouldn't let his grief or his work get in the way of his relationship with Izzy. They'd each learned to see things from someone else's perspective. Maybe it was time I saw- I knew it would be easier to jump on Oops, the next- Oops, I skipped a sentence. Put even more distance between us. Feels bad, man. I finally felt ready to talk to them. I just didn't know if they would feel the same. Did I even remember their number? I wasn't sure until I reached for the phone and it all came flooding back. Mm. Oh. Mom? Dad? Maria? Is that you? We did 
did it! Let's read off some names, shall we? The development team, Michael Anderson, Joel Burt Beardshaw, Danette Beatty, Chris Cox, Laura De DeMay, I'm gonna slaughter these names, David Fernandez Huerta, Abby Flores, Dan Gray, Oscar Guardiola, Austin Kilmore, Adrian Law. It's a lot of names, isn't it? You got your voice recorders? Us two games. The people made, the people who did the game thing. Throw out some special things. You got your light. It was great, uh, great, um, uh, ba -da -ba -da. production babies. Clara, congratulations. Uh, great soundtrack. It was, it was quite pleasant. Finish. One hundred percent. We done did it, team. Are you sure you want to quit the game? No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hold on. Ooh, that would have been a nice little secret. You click this, there's like another level. All right. Well, that was rad. We did it. So what that...